react to something, yep about it. Of course, back with the set video, Shadows of Doubt. This was uploaded 10 days ago. Let's see what it is. I'm interested in the Shadows of Doubt game, actually. Oh, he's sleepy. Feverish sweat. It was another one of those nights. They had the same nightmare. Walt Disney let their intellectual property go into public domain. Did you see that bulge? Wait! Oh, maybe it's a diaper under there. That's why it's so. Oh my god. Big chungus! go into public domain. I felt sick, but thinking of vomit made me think of Pepsi, so I held it in. My diabetes was acting up. Pacemaker says oh, I'm no. dangerously close to dropping below type 2. I needed something to calm my nerves. A Krispy Kreme, Coke vanilla, oh my God, and a Krispy needle Kreme. full of heroin. Just what the doctor ordered. I think we communicated through several language barriers, somewhere between the Aramaic and clerical Hebrew, I can't help but think we lost something in the translation. Lighting a cigarette against the pregnant darkness, I go for a walk. I'm cutting down, which is why oh I'm cut God. off this the is filter. amazing. Like a dog showing you its stomach, I send the tobacco a clear message. Do I trust you. People pass this is a beautiful by story. as I log into my Twitter alt and send out a credible threat to a Minecraft YouTuber. For some of us, it's not about the recognition. It's about oh, I love the setting. I love the music. Once I saw a man standing off the side of a pier, <laughs> tears rolling down his eyes as he told me, I can't trust anyone. That's why I ride myself. He auto filleted himself on the spot and rolled away like a meat-powered wheel. Never did catch his name. Scammers, tricks, open source developers. I've seen some sick things. He's spilling out. He's spilling out of his pants. I've seen some sick things in my time. My Kaizen V-Love Plus implant can instantly sniff out if someone's an incel or in a committed polycule. But more importantly, if they have any spare change, I don't beg for money. I just ask 19 times and that's it. My name is just ask 19 Tech, times. private investigator, <laughs> professional gang stalker. And this Ooh. is my office for yeah. the next 50 minutes. After that, I gotta buy something. Why am I telling you all this? Because together... We're gonna clean the streets. Hey gang, sorry, I've been distracted. I kept staying up late. Finish playing line of, line of human, user. An all new free to play post apocalyptic open world survival game releasing July 9th. The game One takes place man. after a cosmic invasion has permanently transformed our world into the world of Skibbity Toilet. This. Can you be twice human? That's my joke. Give me the toilet in the game. Oh my god, once human has given me the toilet, guys. This is not a joke. You will be fighting every zealous creepypasta from Siren Head to a refrigerator to an overly aggressive school Ooh. bus. Everyday objects are no longer your friend, and you will die at the hands Everything of the Everything is a pop. monster. However, some of these deviations can be tamed to help you fight, craft, and survive. This I is used Pokemon Linux for one month and got the of a man addicted to fentanyl. <laughs> There's base building with full creative freedom and PvP with up to 4,000 games. What is fentanyl? Fentanyl? Oh, it's fentanyl, not fentanyl. Synthetic piperidin opioid. Oh, it's an opioid. Primary use as an analgesic. More potent than heroin, 100 times potent than morphine. Oh, it's an opioid. Okay, okay. Recreational drug. Mmm, opioid. Members in a single server. As absurd as this sounds, it's a lot of fun. I captured the bee, and now it pollinates my crops. The Semitic capitalist fears the self-sufficient rice That's a farmer. Bee. And if you're interested, you can download the Bee's game cute. on Steam using my link in the description below. Hey, hey, people. Seth. Hey, hey. Here. Shadows of Doubt takes place in an alternate timeline where Ronald Reagan was crushed to death by his karmic debt. Thankfully, our new karmic president, debt. the Coca-Cola Company, has continued his righteous task of filling ghettos with crack cocaine. Unfortunately, the definition has expanded. You are the ghetto. Tensions are high. Oh, Crime is rampant. I am the ghetto. The only true justice is in the shadows. The shadows of doubt. But, uh, I doubt that. I checked the shadows. He said the game! You know what I found? 
Me stealing your diamonds, <laughs> battering your wife, and reporting you oh, no. for domestic abuse. It's oh, nothing no. personal. I just need a higher social credit score so I can <gasps> get out social of Social credit's hassle. real. The actual game is, on its face, a detective simulator. What's it simulating? Everything. Detective Starting a new simulator. Game, generates an entire mm. city. Populates it with citizens that each have their own jobs, relationships, hobbies, and of course, homicidal fantasies. Murder is like romance in a male prison. It requires a perpetrator and a victim, and everything in between is a trail of clues left in their wake. Your job is to follow those clues, find the perp, and bring them to justice. Trademark, brought to you by American Spirit, premium quality organic tobacco. So grab your trench coat, scoop out your cone cells with a spoon, and let's cone get to work. <laughs> Step no, one, don't do that. Break into the crime scene don't scoop the cone scales. It's what cone the scales. would have it's wanted. Cone After that, we can cone start cells. looking for clues. Who died? How did they die? And when did they become dead? Make sure to get their prints while you're going through their wallet for loose change. Did they Ooh, live alone? free money. If not, find their partner's fingerprints. NPCs aren't programmed to have friends. The only time they physically meet another person is to be murdered so any unknown fingerprint is definitely the killer look around for anything they might have touched <laughs> during entry or escape doorknobs light switches the inside of a woman's toilet bowl anything oh. is possible did the killer leave a murder weapon or drop a calling card we did the easy part it only gets harder from here but first the case board as you work through a case you can Dude. I like the style of this game. It's like Voxel, right? Like uh, Minecraft. Except it's a detective game in Minecraft style. Ooh, fancy. Mm, I do like detective stories. In any relevant information to the board. As you collect more evidence, the game will automatically draw links between existing information. You can make diligent notes, use color coded threads, and organize every possible mm -hmm. lead. Or you can do none of that and pin random shit oh my and God. follow <laughs> your schizophrenia. I can't solve this mystery on the physical plane. I need crystal meth to go to Hyperborea and ask Yakub directly. And when you're done playing arts and crafts in an active crime scene, we can start looking for leads, check for handwritten notes, break into their computer and check for emails. Open their address book, see if they made any recent calls. Now, it's about lunchtime, but we gotta get our hands dirty first. Find mm -hmm. the landlord's office, break in, check their files on every tenant, <laughs> then break into their computer and oh check God. the CCTV. <laughs> every security everything. camera in the game takes photos every few minutes. Every image showing a person gets saved to a 24-hour buffer, so you want to get to it as soon as you can. As you go through the footage, you should recognize every tenant, so print out anyone unknown, anyone who went near the victim's house, and anyone remotely suspicious all right now we can go to lunch now we have plenty of leads to follow up Dude, we need to find each potential suspect computer is amazing it has a printer attached to it did you see that all right now we can go to lunch now, oh you, plenty you of know what i mean to follow up we need to find each potential suspect and cross-reference their information look i'd love to keep holding your hand but i can't each case is unique so the best way to explain the game is to tell you what i've been through the first time i ever played this game i ignored all the instructions opened the <laughs> fridge and ate raw pork I oh got no so not the part. i couldn't answer the telephone and spent the next 10 minutes battling with the controls to try get in bed to sleep off of food poisoning this was the <laughs> tutorial so the phone kept ringing the entire time <laughs> then I talked to a random civilian, it's a my tutorial. hand slipped, and I accidentally tried to arrest him, down. like hell you are, he said, before shooting me in the face. Oh. At this point, I was captivated. Because this game simulates a few hundred people at any given time, they're all uh, quite stupid. Hey, buddy, oh. I'll pay you a hundred bucks flipping. to fuck off and let me trash your apartment. Okie dokie, I'll just go back to sleep. Wait, did you? Did you just shoot someone? You just shot someone. I apologize. This usually never happens. This town has the collective IQ of a developmentally challenged toddler, so the optimal play style is to be an antisocial menace. Sure, oh. the game has stealth mechanics like alarm systems, air ducts, ah. and lock picking, but um, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Oh, no. Uh huh. Here, take this. Upgrades come in the form of sync discs, which alter your genetics to become a better fighter, better lover, and most importantly, <gasps> you a can better alter consumer your genetics. of cola. You're supposed to earn them from side jobs until you learn a more effective method called beating the shit out of your neighbors and breaking into their safe. To top it all off, there's no long-term penalty for crime. Every exterior door is linked to a complex series of tubes that detects when I leave a building, sending out a pre-recorded YouTube apology that makes the population forget <laughs> my actions. I can 
be caught on 4K, murdering several people Forget about you right away. But the instant I go outside, I'm a changed man. If you want something, take it, run away, and come back like nothing ever happened. Between this and the dirt cheap price of food and utilities, you can easily cover all your expenses oh my by God, committing more crime amazing. than you actually solve. The only real use for money is buying property and playing with the bizarrely detailed furnishing system. <laughs> and once you've played enough to create the ultimate male living space, you're ready to metagame. You see, murders have a cooldown between solving a case and a new murder happening. Sleeping will pass the time and gives a speed buff when you wake up. So you hop in bed, goon for 36 hours straight, and when you get a new murder notification, hop out of bed, break your own window, and plummet 20 stories to the streets <laughs> below, which oh, we no. survive because we're genetically <laughs> modified to be immune to fall damage. What now you can use Well Rested to we sprint to, to the crime damage. scene while chugging your morning coffee. This is not only faster than the cops, it's often faster than the killer. Of course, the way he didn't want to fall damage. He doesn't even need a talisman for that one. He just altered his genetic composition to be immune to fall damage. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh. The way you're meant to pass time between cases is side jobs. Think of wait, wait, wait. He did say that there's like um a new murder is gonna generate the next day. This city is crazy. There's at least one murder per day. What the fuck? Hmm. Very dangerous. Or maybe it's like one murder per day because you also contribute to that statistics. <laughs> Oh no! One is a sort of mini case with limited information. High because crime some rate. information is more helpful than others, the difficulty is completely random. Oh, you want me to steal from someone but you only know his phone number? That's easy. I can just call the number and check the call box to see where it was rooted to. Oh, he's on the floor below. We take those. But what about this one? I've only got his first initial, fingerprint, build, and blood type. Oh yeah, very helpful. At this point, you may as well tell me I'm looking for a circumcised male in a small town of New York. I could just go through the phone book for every name of a city. <laughs> initial but i've got an even better idea go to city uh, hall and open up a government database this has records oh of God. every single citizen in the game you're meant to type at least two characters to get any results but this includes space naturally everyone has a last name so everyone has space and a letter in their name now you can go through the entire database in alphabetical order and what print out every single person's information eventually oh, whatever you have everyone's you have info will just solve itself but we're not done. If you have the <laughs> mental fortitude to sit there for a real-life half hour, congratulations, you just ruined the game. Now, your character will solve cases the nanosecond you get them. What? That's crazy. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the victim was poisoned by a stalker neighbor for not loving her enough, but the victim did manage to get a shot off before expiring. She can't go to the hospital, so she's probably limping home as we speak. That took less than two minutes. Personally, I don't use the government database. I get my evidence the old-fashioned way, following a woman home to her place of residence and hiding inside her septic tank until I expire. <laughs> when they discover my body, the police will do the rest. One time, I checked the victim. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't laugh at that. Oh god, I remember watching a documentary about that. Oh, maybe it's a different incident. Like somebody climbed a water tank and it's like it started first because someone was reported missing and they couldn't find her. And apparently she climbed in the water tank. And it's it took some time for the police to find out that she actually climbed up there. So, um, for the time that she was in the water tank, people have been drinking water where someone was marinating inside, you know, you know what I mean? Okay, anyway, I watch like a lot of crime documentaries. <laughs> Sorry about computer that. Computer and realized she cheated on her husband at the hotel. Honey he bunny. At while Hello, honey he was bunny. Visiting his sick mother. Oh, that sounds like a motive. I paid Ooh, him a visit gossip. and bingo. He's not cooperating. Silence is violence, and only the guilty refuse the law. Silence so I did what violence. any ethical private eye would do: follow him into the bathroom and beat the shit out of him. Oh, oh he, no, uh, didn't do it. In hindsight, he was probably just rude to me because I had the same social credit as the homeless man I shanked on the way to work. Embarrassed, I resorted to using the method real cops use to catch killers. I sit on my ass eating donuts and wait for them to kill again, hoping the next murder is easier to solve. <laughs> Eleven donuts in, I get a notification, rush to the scene of a crime, and on my way there, 
Yeah, turns out it was Gamer just the right key guy who murdered her for being dead weight at her own company. Snake? In summary, there's a lot of jank in this game. Things will glitch and break. Black markets will randomly deny service even if you give a right password. And sometimes, all the foot traffic causes a congestion where everyone gets stuck on the same staircase and the only way to free them is by throwing hammers in their face. Oh my game god. Made by a small team of Albanian immigrants on the budget of a kidney stone. It's really impressive. There's no other game that captures the ambience of living in modern day Shanghai, slurping my MSG noodles as I listen to the a soft drizzle of acid rain. Many games struggle with procedural generation. Generally, I don't even like it. It's just mm -hmm. another buzzword for infinite procedural swap. But Shadows of Down succeeds because it creates nonsense. And because true crime will always be more bizarre than any simulation, the situation is yes, not wrong. only compelling, they're believable. And remember, Once Human launches on July 9th. Download the game for free right now. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. A warm Hell thanks yeah. to the many members of the Merchants Guild, generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Have a good one. Yay! That's a good video. Shadows of Doubt. I wonder how they program that stuff. Like... How many worlds are there procedurally generated? Like how does the game know that it makes sense for a certain character to be in a place and for a certain character to, to be the victim and a certain character to be the suspect and all that stuff? I don't understand it. <laughs> game dev is a mystery to me. It just knows. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, it's magic though the magic of game development i must admit it is really interesting for me when i saw rt game play this one also when um call me kevin played it as well it was funny has expanded you this the game just allows you to do anything you want it's like you can do anything. You just break into people's homes. You can just jump off the buildings. You can just chase everyone. Question them about random stuff. <laughs> I guess you could do that in real life as well. I mean, you can just question anyone you meet if you want. <laughs> There's gonna be consequences though. But in this game, you just have to exit the building so they don't... Mm, catch you or they don't remember that you actually committed any heinous crimes Seth hmm. <laughs> you funny man this is the ending song ending song this is the ending song <laughs>